My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Wow, is that a hoverboard? If you ever see my other videos, usually I'm writing my EC and blocking. But with this one, I'm going to try a different approach for two reasons. One, to get my point across. And recently I had an injury which really took me out for a while and it was pretty serious, but I'm actually healing now. So it's actually, I think it's a lot safer if I just sit here instead of writing while possibly being distracted. So, <laughs> all good. So on that fateful day in mid-August, I set out to ride with my fellow e-boarders. I was wearing full gear. I had knee pads, elbow pads, my flex meter D30 wrist guards, which I love. I had my Bell 3R with MIPS removable chin guard helmet. I had my Bobster goggles and just enjoying the day, having lots of fun for about a couple hours. The terrain was rough. I was vigilant, very alert and prepared for anything. So after the two hours, I left my friends and headed off because I had somewhere urgent to go. I was kind of like a little bit of a rush. Going this way, and there's the bridge. And this is where I had my big accident, right here, at this intersection. So as I was about to make a turn, I made a wide turn on my puddles. My, pedal, my left puddle hit this. I twisted and I fell hard. Good thing I had gear. That would have been it for me. So the fall I had, uh, the only symptoms I basically had was right-sided rib pain and a stabbing pain with coughing or sneezing. It was unbearable. I was not short of breath. My heart rate wasn't racing. So, but anyway, I got a chest x-ray and there was no gross rib fracture. And based on the x-ray, there was no pneumothorax. Pneumothorax basically is when air escapes from your lung secondary to a, a rib that's puncturing the lung from a blunt injury. And what happens is, with that air stuck between the lung and the chest wall, the air pushes the lungs and makes it collapse, and you're not able to oxygenate. And you could basically die as the worst scenario. A hemothorax is when blood is stuck between the lung and the chest wall cavity and the lung fills with blood because an artery was lacerated or a vein was lacerated from a punctured rib. So that's also not good. The radiologist wanted the rib series to find out if I had any lateral rib fracture. But because there was no gross fracture and I didn't want any more radiation, I did have symptomatic pain with sneezing or coughing was enough to let me know that all I needed was just six to eight weeks of rest. So with my rib injury and taking it easy for a while and waiting for my ribs to basically heal, I embarked upon a journey in finding the best protection without looking like a football player. That was the last thing I wanted. I wanted to look the same as before, streamlined, something lightweight. So as I looked online, I realized that I already had G-Form knee pads and I was very impressed with the technology. G-Form pads are very thin and lightweight. They're very malleable, soft. You can barely feel that you're wearing them. They don't look like much. But what happens is, on impact, these things, the molecules change to, and harden and disperse the impact to protect the wearer from any injury. After the impact, the pads will revert back to their soft, pliable nature. This demonstration shows m and placed in between two G-form pads and a 10-pound bowling ball is dropped directly. I don't see how the m ms can survive with such an impact. But upon my surprise, 
the G pads, the smart technology pads, are able to disperse the shock. And on opening the M&Ms, they are unbroken. Compare these to the M&Ms that were protected by the generic cheap pads. They're broken. The G form M&Ms are unbroken. So, do you really want to take a chance when, for just a few seconds of your time, you can avoid being in this operating room, undergo the possible complications of surgery and anesthesia? All you have to do is just wear proper gear. The complications can occur during the surgery, after the surgery. So, this let's say you did well during the surgery, and now you're recovery, but there's also risk of infection, scarring, decreased motor and cognitive function, time off from work, time off from your loved ones. You could be in the hospital for days and risk infection. It's just not worth it. All you have to do is just take a few seconds of your time to properly gear up. Anything can happen. Anything can happen, you cannot predict it. I thought I was the most, most well-prepared person, but yet it still happened to me. And I was actually very conservative. I'm actually a very conservative writer. So guys, please, gear up. Because as Forrest Gump said, My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Wow, is that a hoverboard?